I've seen that car somewhere before. The guy seems to be having a problem with his car. Maybe I can help him out. Hi, uh, are you having problems? Hey? With your car? No, I'm freezing my balls off here for fun. Bollocks. Sod it, the car won't start. You're a car mechanic, are you? Uh, no. I didn't think so. You look more the theoretical type, am I right? Kind of. I studied physics for four terms. Well, that's better than sociology. Can you have a quick look at it? I'm stuffed here. Well, to be honest, I'm not very practical. But I could get some help from the village if you want. I'm headed there anyway. Okay. Drop into the pub, tell Tom what's happened. Tell him Phil's banger is knackered again and he's bound to know what's wrong with it. Tom? And what if he's not there? Are you having a laugh? Of course he'll be there. It could take me a while, though. Uh, maybe I'll have a go. Nothing to lose, huh? Be my guest. Over to you. How old is this car? It's more rust than engine. God knows. It's always started okay before, though. Hmm. My guess is that it was one of Henry Ford's prototypes. Ha ha! Are you from Willow Creek? How did you know that? Well, cause you know Tom. No, no, I'm not from around here. So, have you found out what's up with it yet? How is Ralph? Ralph? Uh, I don't know him. Oh, I thought you guys hung out together quite a bit. Why's that? Well, I thought he hung around the old house, and because I saw your car parked there this morning. Yeah, I might have seen him. It's a filthy dive, but probably much better than no roof over your head. Ah, yes, that must be it. A wire's come off here. Jesus, what the hell is that? Help! Can anyone hear me? Help! Just shut your muck in there, will you? Hey, what's going on? Are, are you crazy? Let me out, now! So you can go and grasp to the fuzz, forget it. What are you up to? Help! Oh, shut it. No one can hear you. You're staying in there till I decide what to do with you. Hey, maybe we can talk this over. Look, I promise I won't breathe a word. Oh, yeah. That's what they all say. Look, make yourself comfy. Today could be your last. No, no, you can't do this! You have no idea what I am capable of. Have fun. I've got things to do now. Wait! Hey! Oh my god. If I can't find a way out of here fast, that maniac is gonna kill me. For Christ's sake, Mordred, you could at least help me out for once. I can make out a few holes, but not much else. The top is metal. But it doesn't seem to be that thick. It's really rusty, the whole thing's fallen apart. It's totally rusted through. I can get out this way. Hell, it's something here. It's moving back and forth. Oh my god, I think I know where I am. It must be some kind of cold room where they keep dead bodies. Huh, there's a kind of stretcher up there that you can pull out. Okay, I'll just fix up my own handle. Whoa, 
Oh, yuck. Gross. What kind of stench is that? <coughs> I gotta get out of here fast. Okay, I've really gotta get behind it. <sighs> At last. <coughs> I'm out of here. I don't see a significant improvement in my situation here. The light switch should be somewhere around here. That's not it. That was easy. What the hell did I press before? Uh, oh, it looks like an intercom system, but it doesn't seem to be working. Weird. No door handle, just a keyhole. Uh, I won't bother trying it. I heard Phil locking it. Yuck. I really don't want to know what it is. It stinks like hell. An old yellowed screen. You would normally cut up dead bodies on a table like this. Normally. An ancient film projector. <laughs> I'd be amazed if it still worked. If I don't put the film in, it's as good as any other light. The blood seems fairly recent. Barbecue tongs with blood on them? Kitchen towels. Best quality. Surprise, surprise. Still unused. Medical records. You can see in hospitals. Ah, oh, and pathology labs. Most of them are rusted and unusable. Hmm. Files. Or to be more exact, medical records. How have they got lost in here? James Gordon. He was a patient in the old sanatorium. So are the medical records from there? There are death certificates in here. Quite a few. Issued by Dr. Heinz Herman for James Gordon. And for different causes of death. Heart attack, suicide, all undated. Ralph Thompson, date of birth, March 3rd, 1960. Diagnosis, delusional schizophrenia, therapy-resistant depression with suicidal tendency. Medication level four, combination shock therapy, electroconvulsive shock therapy, and insulin shock therapy. Poor Ralph, no wonder he's crazy. And here's Ralph's death certificate, issued by Dr. Herman. Death from neck dislocation following self-strangulation. And it's dated September 1st, 1981. So Ralph's death had already been planned. Oh, the bastards. If they hadn't gone out of business in August 81, Ralph would be dead now. Incredible. Otherwise, pretty uninteresting. None of these people mean anything to me. These metal boxes are normally used as cash boxes. This one has a combination lock. A small bottle of smelling salts? None left. Pity. Plain untipped cigarettes. If I never get out of here, then at least I can become a smoker. A working Bunsen burner. Medical books. Secrets of the human brain. 
composition and function of the central nervous system, I don't think Phil is using this to cram for the brain surgery exam. Practical applications of chemistry. Quite a nice tome. It could prove to be a handy reference book. A marvelous tool. So small and yet it slices through flesh like butter. A meat cleaver, like you used to see in a butcher shop. A hideous butcher. A cassette player, but I don't know if it works or not. There's no plug on the end of the cable. An old skeleton. That's not very useful. What can I do with it? Whoops, the skull looks a bit wobbly. Yep, it's loose. So off with it. Two heads are better than none at all. It gives pulling my leg a whole new meaning. A chair with arm and leg restraints. That could have come from an old sanatorium. Cold compartments like you see in a morgue. It could have been one once. But luckily, these things don't work anymore. Or I'd probably have frozen to death. I know it's definitely not a good idea to have a look inside. It stinks like hell. But I'd love to know if there's anyone or anything moldering in there. Oh, 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 I could have passed on that one. And to think I was just climbing on this thing. The compartment is padlocked too. There are air holes here. Like in my compartment. Damn! Jeez, there's someone in there. I can hear breathing. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Can you hear me? Whoever's in there must be in a deep sleep. There's no way of waking them up. Lots of film and photography equipment. Oh, this looks like an attachment for a camera. What's this? Different colored transparencies in a frame. You can pull them in and out. I think it's a colored filter for cameras. A human skull. A replica, probably. Something's rattling around in there. Either his brain has dried up... ...or someone has hidden something in the skull. A reel of film. Lucky I always had to load the films in school. It's not as easy as you might think. I fixed the color filter to the front of the projector, so I can now use the different color gels to watch the film in bright colors.
So let's have a look and see what's on this film.
Hmm. 2180. A four digit combination. That fill is one sly mother. Not a bad idea. Hiding a combination in a film that can also only be seen using a special color filter. If the numbers on the film are the combination for this box, then... An envelope. Let's see. As I said already, I can't do anything with the photo. It looks like the person concerned has left the village and is therefore of no further interest to me. You've already gotten too much money out of me for the pictures of the fire, so that's it now. I have a new job for you. As far as I know, the fire fiend will be released sometime next week. He's a ticking time bomb that could blow up again at any time. Perhaps we could encourage him a little. Watch him, don't let him out of your sight. I want you to write down everything he does. Further instructions to follow. M. M? M. That can only be Murray. That, ugh, deserves the worst. There are gonna be some serious consequences. I've been through some horrible things, but this is really going too far. Great, now I've got a few wires. If I can repair the photocopier, the intercom will be child's play. There you go. I told you so. Now, in theory, I can lure Phil down here. Okay, I can try it now. Damn, I didn't connect the wires upright, but that should... Huh, I can hear footsteps. What's all this? Turn that light off! He's been knocked out. I'd better take care of this, just in case. He's been knocked out. This key fits. Oh no! It's Ralph! Oh my god, what has Phil done to him? His face! His upper body! Oh, covered in cuts! And... Oh, his entire body! Dry blood everywhere! The disgusting bastard Phil! He's gonna pay for this! An empty bottle of smelling salts. It looks like they need a lot of these to bring people around. Let's see. Maybe I can find some info on the compound. Okay, what does it say? Deer antlers ground to make ammonium powder. 
heat and blah, 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 crystallizes to form what are known as smelling salts. That shouldn't be too difficult. most important ingredient for my smelling salts. Phil doesn't seem to have touched the display case. No wonder. The only things in here are books and... A glass flask. They're mainly used in chemistry. Sorry, Bambi, but it definitely won't hurt you anymore. I now have the ammonium powder. Okay, that should be enough. The powder is in the glass flask. Drawers full of electronic junk. Hmm. Something under here looks a bit strange. Cables going under the cupboard. I don't want to waste all the gas. right into your lungs. <sighs> I'll fill up the smelling salts bottle. At least now I can wake Ralph up. I'll leave the book here. What? Where? This isn't Ralph's house! Go away! Go Ralph, away! Ralph, Leave okay. Ralph alone! It's okay! Ralph! Mr. Bobby! Where are you? Mr. Bobby! Ralph, it, it's all right! Shh! Ralph, it's me, Darren. It's okay. <laughs> Here, here, look. It's Mr. Bubby. You see? Everything's okay. <laughs> Bubby, 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 Bubby. <laughs> Bubby. Wow. Ralph ran like the devil himself was after him. I won't see him back in a hurry. I don't think I can do anything more down here. Time to deal with Phil. <laughs> <laughs> 